So I wanted to do a budget pistol AR build. I had all these parts laying around. I had a lower, a grip. Uh, I mean, I've ha I have sights laying around everywhere. The red dot, bulk carrier groups. Uh, basically, need just uh, an upper and a lower parts kit. So, uh, especially when uh, the ATF finally reversed their ruling on shouldering, you know, pistol. Uh, races I said screw it I'm just gonna build one uh, I never really wanted a, a, a tube just a rest you know just to have the tube I wanted to have a brace and I wanted to be able to shoulder it so uh, I think they're just kind of stupid if, if you can't shoulder it uh, I might make this into an SBR one day but for now I mean who really needs it when you when you can shoulder it like this and uh, the adjustable buttstock is not going to be a, a huge, make a huge difference for me. Uh, I want this as compact as it's going to, you know, as I can get. So that's uh, finally pushed me over the edge. So let's go over this one real fast. Uh, it is an Anderson lower. I got Anderson lowers basically laying around. And uh, just a regular A2 M16 grip, uh, GI grip. Uh, I switched most, most of my grips out for the MOE Plus Magpul grips, but uh, I like these sometimes. You know, they're they're fine. I you know I'm used to them from the core. And uh, I had a Palmetto State Full Auto Bull Carrier Group uh, complete laying around. It is a I put a fail zero bolt in it though, but the carrier just the bolts fail zero. Carrier's Palmetto State, and it's a it's a nice bolt. Never had any problems with it. I ran it in uh, my my built M forgery for quite a few years. I've never had an issue. Uh, nothing with the staking or the gas. So I trust that one. Uh, it is a Palmetto State lower build kit. Also, uh, that you know, all the build kits are are basically the same. The only difference you're gonna get is. Uh, is a fire control group so the triggers the trigger I don't really like it uh, I polish the crap out of it and it's still it's just a single stage so it's like you know you're at a wall here there's some creep and uh, reset it's it's really mechanical but I haven't shot this yet, and uh, once I do, who knows? Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I won't. Uh, it does. the The pistol build kit from PSA does come with the just the standard pistol tube, and uh, it, it comes with every you know everything for the lower. But and uh, Sig Sauer Sig Brace. Uh, that's a Gen One. Got it for seventy bucks on uh, Broker. And, uh, you know, uh, the sights, I had this TRS laying around. I actually had it on AK for a little while, but I'm going to I'm gonna do something different with the AK. Uh, I don't know if I'll do an H1 or a T1 or maybe a, like a Razor or Venom or something. And I had uh, irons, but I actually I forgot. I only had the rear, this rear iron sight. And uh, you know it's it's fixed, so I'm not gonna use it here. I might do it, uh, put it on my 20-inch build before I can find a uh, a detachable you know A2 handle. But uh, these are UTG flip-up sights. You know uh, I wasn't gonna spend the 200 bucks I did on my other ARs for Troys or you know the Magpul Pros, and I don't really like the Magpul Pros much. But you know this is gonna be basically an optics gun. So just to have something uh, as a backup, uh, these these seem okay. They're definitely not the best in the world. Uh, they they got some wobble to them when they lock, and uh, they do have an O2 and uh, further. And you can uh, you know, either either way you have them flipped, you can put these sights down, and uh, you don't really see that on on too many sites but they work uh, it is adjustable in the front and the rear so 
windage elevation. Still got to tie, uh, you know, slide it in. Uh, the oh yeah, the pistol grip or the pistol kit from PSA also has uh, spots for single point sling attachments on the backing plate, which is uh, pretty cool. It comes with a heavy buffer. Uh, and uh, the last thing is the upper I got. It is a Radical Firearms upper. My uh, my buddy, he has the, the AR-47 from Radical. He got dirt cheap. And uh, we've ran it and ran it, and it seems fine. <coughs> the only thing that happened to make it unreliable was he put uh, lighter springs in for the trigger, and we were having some misfires. But uh, once he put them back in, they were fine. So, and uh, Radical has a full lifetime warranty. It is free floated. And um, I decided to try them out. And uh, the only marking on it is the little R up here for Radical. Standard A2 birdcage. It has a one and seven twist barrel. It is carbine length. It's a 10 and a half inch top. And I kind of wanted to go with a, like a, the eight and a half, but that gets into the pistol length gas tubes and guys are having all these sorts of trouble with them. So might as well just get the carbine length, give it a little more velocity out of the short barrel and a little more reliability. And hopefully that's what I have since, you know, I, I have not shot it soon, but uh, the fitment, you get a little wobble. Not bad though. You know, no Ford. I might put a plug in it, but we'll see how it is. See what changes. It's really, it's not like a long distance target rifle, <laughs> or it's a pistol. But it's just something fun, and uh, just add to the collection a little bit. And uh, that's, uh, that'll be, uh, I'll do an update when I, when I start shooting it. And then uh, my next pistol build, I'm almost done with it. Yeah, it took a little more time, but I got a Sten, and I haven't shot this either, so I'll take both of these out. And I actually have another one hiding in here somewhere that I haven't shot, but uh, I'll go over this one another day, and uh, some interesting ATF rules that I uh, that I found out uh, from talking to him for quite some time. And, uh, but we'll do that later. Just wanted to show this one off real fast, guys. Thanks.